Hello and welcome to another one of our episodes of the iMovie Muzzle Flash. It is a about a week long event where every day of the week I upload a new tip or trick that will help you do muzzle flashes in iMovie. Yesterday we talked about the expensive Action Essentials 2 pack. And today I'm going to talk about a different pack where you can get more muzzle flashes that are all pre-keyed. So go to Google, type in Rhodey Polis. Hit the search and click on the first link that appears. Now I filmed this during Christmas so they are doing a little Christmas special sale thing. I am not at all hired by them or paid by them to do anything to promote them, nothing at all. This is just my opinion giving tips and tricks to you guys. So go down to their products and somewhere around here, oh there it is, at the top, shootout pack, download that. It's only $30 compared to Action Essentials 2, which is 100 and basically my recommendation of Action Essentials 2 is if you have a more powerful editing program than iMovie such as Final Cut or Adobe After Effects I believe you would have the money to afford Action Essentials 2 if not Shootout Pack from Rhodey Polis is not a bad one it's at all and it works pretty good in iMovie some of them, some of the people on their website say it does not work in iMovie, but I am here to show you that it does work in iMovie. So you buy it, you pay them, you get the download in your email, hit the download, and then you have a whole bunch of special effects that you can work with. Now they also come with PNG files. Now these PNG files are way better than the ones I can make, for sure. But we don't want to use PNG files in iMovie because if you remember from before, iMovie has to have a photo file last minimally 0.1 seconds. And we know that a muzzle flash is only going to last for one or two frames. But don't worry, it doesn't only have muzzle flashes in the form of PNG files. If you go to machine guns folder that they provide, you can click on these and they are all different types of movies. And they all last for only one frame. Some of them, two. And this is the stuff we'll be using in iMovie. So, let's get started on how we use this in iMovie. Once you have the product downloaded, and you have your video file all edited without the muzzle flashes, we need to import the footage. So go File, Import, click Movies. I'm going to hit Create New event and I'm gonna click Rody Polis. You want to make sure the optimized video box is not checked. Go to the folder where you saved your downloads. Click on the file you wish to use and then hit import. And now we have the muzzle flashes that we need in iMovie. But before we can do that, you have to make sure you click iMovie, Preferences, under the General tab, make sure the Show Advanced Tools box is checked. That'll let you use things like Picture in Picture and Green Screen, very important things in iMovie. Close that. We go to our video and select the muzzle flash that we wish to use. Now I am having a little bit of trouble with this, so I'm going to use this little bar down here to see more frames per second. That should give me a little bit better idea of selecting footage. Now I'm going to scroll around until I find one I like that's appropriate for the movie prop I was using. Now that I have it selected, I'm going to drag it and put it in the place I need it. Let go, hit picture in picture. So you can see, just like Action Essentials 2, it has a clear background. You can use these arrows to modify its location and its size. Now the duration on these is you can make it pretty short. I still recommend you have it as 0.1. Now, like we do before, you're going to highlight the segment where the muzzle flash appears. 
right click on that hit cut right click in the middle of them hit paste double click the footage hit video effect and I always pick glow now slide over the muzzle flash to the more accurate location you can slide them with the arrow keys on the keyboard as well now we basically have the muzzle flash done we just need to add in the sound effect that we like to add in the sound effects you click on the little music note here and it'll open up your iTunes library I have a playlist called sound effects and then you add in whatever you feel is appropriate make sure the volume is at a correct level so that these red dots don't appear if those red dots appear that means the volume is too loud and you are losing audio quality now one thing to remember when using Rody Polis or Action Essentials 2 is iMovie may freeze while playing it the reason why that happens is iMovie is not a very powerful movie program the high definition video files along with your own video files are a lot for iMovie to keep track of so Keep that in mind. There's more information about that in the description. It is not a problem. If you export your video file, it should play exactly like normal. Don't worry about it. it what your issue is, how your movie looks exported, not how iMovie plays it. Now let me show you the final product using Rody Polis. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.